that's what faith is all about in the body of Christ. Without that faith, he says, it's impossible to please him. Amen. I believe God can touch Bobby this morning. I believe God can touch our outreach ministries, our children's ministry. I believe that God is touching our families. I believe God is making changes in our lives all over the world. God is making changes. God is great. He is the Almighty. Amen. Amen. I just trust God to move in this service today. I didn't come here just to, to go right back out the door and go home and come back this afternoon, but I come to see God move. I, I am tired of the everyday drudgery and grudgery and going through life and not seeing God glorified and exalted, even in my own life, the way that He needs to be. Amen. He is our Father and our Savior. Amen. Amen. I, I'm not the devil. He's under my feet. Amen. He is under our feet this morning, church. God is sure as he is, is he is God, he is sure at his word because he is the word. Amen. Amen. I didn't mean to get up here and preach, but I, I am just so tired of the devil having he trying to just rule and reign and trying to move God's people out of the way so he can tear down and destroy. God is awesome. Amen. He is awesome this morning. He is an awesome God. Amen. And he, he and we need to glorify the Lord in the house of God. Amen. I didn't come in here just, just to hear myself, but I come in here to see God move this morning. Amen. If we don't expect it, it ain't going to happen. Amen. Because that's little faith and lack of faith. God is moving. Amen. Amen. Father God, we just come before your presence, Lord, with joy, Lord God, with joy in our hearts, Lord God, and, and faith, Father God. I thank you, Father. Our faith is not wavering, but we stand this morning, Lord God. Lord, we stand upon your word, Lord God, because you are the word, Lord God. And Lord, I thank you that the word prayed, Father God, in that garden of Gethsemane, that the word, Lord God, was made manifest in our lives, Lord God. And Father God, I just thank you, Lord God, that Lord, that you are to be glorified and exalted in our lives, Lord God. And I thank you, Lord, for moving in this body of Christ, Father God. Lord, every petition spoken and unspoken, Lord God. I thank you, Father God, Lord, for reaching out and touching your children this morning, Lord. I thank you for your delivered hand this morning, Father God. Lord God, I thank you for healing this morning, Lord God, and setting at liberty those that are bound, Father God, the sick, the lame, Father God. I thank you, Lord God, for bringing your children, Father God, Lord, into a greater place, Lord, a greater land, Father God. Lord, a place of restoration this morning, Lord God. I thank you, Father God, that, Lord, those barren places, Father God, will bring forth, Lord, growth, Lord God. And I thank you, Father God, Lord, that the water is full, Lord God. Lord God, it's not stagnant, Lord God, and pushed aside, Father God. But, Lord God, it's free this morning, Father God. Lord, a flowing of your Holy Spirit, Lord, upon the lives of your people, Father God. Lord, a renewing and regeneration, Father God. Father God, in family and in children, Father God. Lord, I thank you, Father God, for this blessing us. Lord, and for blessing those that watch, Father God, and hear, Father God, that has ears to hear what the Spirit of God is saying to the church, Father. I thank you, Father God. Lord, for shining bright upon our lives, Father God. Lord, for the moving, Lord, of your grace upon our lives this morning, Lord God. Lord, I just thank you, Father God. Lord, that you are great and mighty, Lord God. You are awesome, Lord God, in this place, Father. And we give you the glory and the honor in the house of the Lord. In Jesus' glorious and mighty Jesus. name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God, church. Amen. Praise God. Give him Amen. praise today. Hallelujah. Give him praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. As we sing this song, I want you to prepare your tithe and offering this morning. Before I minister, we're going to sing one song and, and go right into the Word of God today. God is good, isn't He?
He's so good. Father, Lord, I ask you to touch and minister, God, today. Lord, as we bring our tithe and our offerings unto you, Father God, as we remember you, Lord God, we remember the things that you've done for us, God, the way you brought us through, God. Lord, touch today, Father, in every area of our life. In Jesus' precious, precious name. Again, stand to your feet with us. Worship the Lord in your giving as we sing this song. We'll come see a man. This man named Jesus will come see a man. Come see a man. Both Lord and Christ. Both Lord and Christ. Will he turn water, water into wine? wine? He gave a sight back, back to the blind. blind. He's the water, water and the bread. bread. He's got the power to raise the dead. Come see a man. Come see a man named, named Jesus Christ. Christ. Now tell me who's this man they say? that the wind and waves obey he's the christ of calvary he died on the cross for you and me all of my life for him's been given all of my sins have been forgiven he's the only hope for living come see a man come see a man named jesus christ well come see a man man. this man named Jesus. jesus Oh, come see a man, both oh, Lord and Christ. Oh, Lord Hallelujah. And Christ. He turned water, water into wine. He gave the sight back to the blind. He's the water and the bread. He's got the power to raise the dead. Come see a man, see a man named, named Jesus Christ. Christ with his disciples on that day. Whom do I? do all men say some say john or the prophet of old but simon peter had to stand up bold thou art christ the son of god all power in heaven and earth the rock he's coming back in glory divine riding on a cloud and his face will shine come see a man man. named jesus christ oh come see a man come see a man a man named Jesus, Jesus. will come see a man. Come see a man. Oh, Lord and Christ. Oh, Lord and Christ. Will he turn water, water into, into wine? wine? He, he gave a sight back to the blind. He's the water and the bread. He's got the power to raise the dead. Come see a man. Come see a man named, named Jesus Christ. Will he turn water into wine? He gave a sight back to the blind. He's the water and the bread. He's got the power to raise the dead. Come see a man man named Jesus Christ. Yes, somebody give him praise in the house today. Mm, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We'll come see a man. This man named Jesus. Well, come see a man. Both Lord and Christ. Christ. Well, he turned water Water into into wine. wine. He gave a sight back to the blind. He's the water and the bread. He's got the power to raise the dead. Come see a man named Jesus Christ. Now tell me who's this man they say that the wind and waves obey. He's the Christ of Calvary. He died on the cross for you and me. All of my life for him's been given. All of my sins have been forgiven. He's the only hope for living. Come see a man man named Jesus Christ. Well, come see a man. man. This man named Jesus. Well, come see a man. Lord and Christ, Christ. will he turn water Water into into wine? He gave the sight back to the blind. He's the water Water and the the bread. bread. He's got the power power to raise the dead. dead. Come see a man man named Jesus Christ. Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise him today, saints. Hallelujah to your name, God. Hallelujah to your name. Hallelujah to your name. Yeah, Lord, yeah, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 Mm. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We'll go down yonder, Gabriel. Somebody say, let's have church. Put your feet on land and see. We'll give it, don't you blow that trumpet? Until you hear from me, well, ain't no grave. No grave, no grave. No grave. We're going to hold my body down. Well, there ain't no grave. Well, now meet me, Jesus, meet me. Meet me in the middle of the air. Well, if my wings should fail me, Lord, I won't need another pair. Cause there ain't no grave. No grave, no grave. My, my Lord. Mm. No grave. We're going to hold my body down. Well, now look, we cross the river. Saw the people dressed in white. Well, I knew it was God's people. They're doing all right. Ain't no grave. No grave, no grave. Hallelujah. Oh, no Yay. We're going to hold my body down. Well, now look way across the river. Saw the people dressed in white. Well, I knew it was God's people. They're doing all right. Ain't no grave. No grave. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. When I hear that trumpet sound, yeah, gonna get up out of the ground. Gonna shake off all these old burdens down here. Cause they ain't planning on hanging around. Take me out to the graveyard. <laughs> Put my feet down in the sand. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gonna shout, hi, Hosanna. Cause I'm gonna reach my promised land where there ain't no grave. No grave, no grave. Yay! No grave. We're gonna hold my body down. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. God, God is wanting to sweep in this place and is wanting to get your mind upon him right now. Holy, 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 holy. Holy, 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 holy,
holy, holy, holy, hey. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. John said, don't y'all, don't y'all, don't y'all go nowhere. John said in chapter 7, verse 37, in the last day. In the last day, y'all can go sit down, but don't y'all leave me. In the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come to me. If any man thirst, let him come to me. Jesus said that, man didn't. Verse 38, he said, He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly. Belly. I ain't talking, I ain't talking about this bread basket down here. I'm talking about when you see the translation, it means out of your heart, out of your bosom, out of your innermost being, out of who you are shall flow rivers of living water. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. But this spake he of the Spirit. Understand understand what I'm saying because he wasn't talking about your bread basket belly. He said, I'm talking about your spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. Should receive. It didn't say you might. It said you should receive. I, I got a word you need to hear this. You need to hear this this morning. I, I, brother, brother, I didn't just come to say something, but I come with something to say. I, I come today on an assignment that God has given me to tell you something today about a water, a river of life that's coming from your innermost being. He said, but this spake ye of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive, for the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because that Jesus was not yet glorified. Jesus made a bold statement when he said, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. I want to tell you something today, church. God gave me this week one of the greatest visions and he brought me to this scripture and that's the reason I'm here today to tell you this. I got, God gave me a vision this week, a dream if you will. And in this vision, God began to explain to me about this scripture. He brought me to a place that I was preaching under the most heavy anointing that I've ever preached under in my entire life in this vision that God was giving me. I want you to listen to what I'm saying now. Get your mind off of everything else. Block out everything outside right now or you won't receive this and you'll leave the same way you came. But if you're determined today that a change is going to take place, you better hear what the word is saying to you this morning because he's got a word for you as I begin to preach in this vision that God gave me, I begin to preach and all of a sudden out from me, I saw this river of life that God is speaking of flowing out from me. And I said, God, what does it mean? What are you trying to tell me, Lord? And God began to speak unto my bosom. He spoke unto my spirit. And as he spoke unto me, he said, I want to show you what I'm speaking of about my spirit flowing upon all people. As I begin to speak, this water, 
begin to flow out uh, into a channel is the only way that I can describe it. Uh, you see, when we go into the book of Revelation and we see how God began to show John things uh, and how John described it the best way that he could, uh, he described some things as monsters. <laughs> he described things that you can't even imagine that God was showing him. But God showed me this uh, and, and, and the water was flowing out from me uh, and it was going through some kind of uh, of a channel and it's that river of life is where it was going but it was a channel and when it met the other end of that channel that water somebody say that water that water came up and it began to go up into this thing and it began to come out like a sprinkler head I want you to imagine a sprinkler head that's, that's watering a garden or something that's the way God began to reveal this to me and I saw his glory. I saw this thing begin to go up and it began to pour down upon people like a sprinkler system. But I looked at it and I looked at it and I said, God, it's not doing what I thought it would do because I saw this as it was water going up and coming down and hitting people and flowing all over them. And I said, Lord, I don't see brother Norman I don't see his hair getting wet I don't see his clothes getting wet and God said it ain't that kind of water it ain't that kind of substance it ain't something that's like the natural water he said this is my glory that I'm pouring out he said it's my glory <laughs> it's my glory that flows out uh, from your belly. Uh, when it begins to go out, uh, it don't fall on somebody as water. It falls on them as his glory. Oh, yes. It began to come down. He said it's not anything about uh, the outward fashion of a man or a woman. He said it ain't about causing uh, uh, the, the thing that you're thinking about. He said, I, I saw it. I saw it going, raining down on everyone. I saw it going down and nothing like water then. It looked like water when it was leaving me. But when it was falling upon you, it wasn't water. But it was glory. <laughs> it was glory. It was his glory. It was his glory. He said, my glory. It's going to start flowing upon people. He said, did I not tell you that change was coming? I said, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Change. He said, is the devil not trying to attack you with everything that you wanted to leave in 2000? I said, yes. He said, that's a good sign that you left it back there and the devil's trying to bring it and dump it on you again. He said, just keep on marching. Keep on going. Keep on praising me. Keep on glorifying me because he said that that change, that change, he said, he said, he said, he said, assure my people that change, word change came from me and not man. That glory began to fall upon people. Lies begin to be touched. Lies begin to be touched. He said, glory ran down. It caused no outward effect, but it caused an inward effect. And when that inward effect began to materialize, all of a sudden, boom, the outward man began to change. You can't change this outward thing until you get the inside changed. You can't change the direction you're going until you make up in your mind that God, a change is going to happen in my life. I was speaking to a preacher just the other day and I said, might have been yesterday, and I said, was talking about some things that the Lord had been dealing with me about. 
And I said to him without thinking about it, and all of a sudden, God, boom! He said, see what I'm talking about, son? I was, I was telling this preacher what I was, what I was thinking about. And I, I said, I said, this thing's going to change this year. And all of a sudden, poop. God said, see what I told you? He said, you wasn't thinking about saying that word, but he said, it come from your belly. You, you, now, now, you're not going to get this if you ain't listening to what I'm saying today. It came from my belly. Because I was determined what I was speaking to him about. Uh, I, I said, I've talked and talked and talked. But I said, I'm determined that this year is going to be a change. Not even thinking about what I said in church. Oh, when I said that, as soon as I said it, God said, see. See. I said, my God. He said, you spoke it from your belly. He said, he said you can just say it and it won't happen. But he said, when you speak it from your belly, it'll flow. Out of your belly, my God, shall flow rivers of living water. He said, you spoke it from your belly. And when you speak it from your belly, it'll happen because my word said it would happen. God said, began to not just from your head, but when you want something change, you wake up in the morning, you tell that dog devil, uh, it's gonna change. This year it's gonna change. And God said, when it comes from your belly, then you're gonna see that glory of God begin to manifest itself in your life, but you will not get it until it comes from the belly, from your heart, from your determination. My God in heaven. He said, from your belly, from your belly. So you can sit around and sit around and sit around and say it's going to change, but you've got to get it from your belly. You've got to wake up when you're not even thinking about it, and it's so instilled inside of you. The Word has got a hold of you, and all of a sudden you say, it's going to change. And you say, my God, it is. My God, it's going to happen. Tired as brother, as the brother said. I thought, bro, bro, brother, bro, brother Major. I said, God, God's, God's doing it because he's already putting it out of your mouth. <laughs> I said, God, you're doing it. You done putting it out of the man's mouth already this morning. God, not even got up and told anybody about it yet. <laughs> Uh, he said, I'm tired of coming in uh, and going out. Uh, tired of the same old mundane stuff. Uh, tired of coming in uh, and thinking I'm going to get something and leave. Uh, when I come to the house of God, I make up in my mind, uh, I ain't about to leave. Uh, I'm going to put my whole being in the service uh, and say, uh, it's going to change this year. Uh, I don't know about you. Mm. It's going to change. It's going to change. It's going to change. It's going to change. Last night, God gave me another dream. Woo! Excuse me, because something's changing in me. In his dream, he was, he was leading me up to different people and give, giving me a word. And I've got the word, and I'm going to go to them people. I've got a word inside of me for them people. God said, take this word. He said, I've got a word for them people. And he said, when that word hits them people, he said, just like the vision I gave you, he said, my glory is going to fall upon them. He said, all you got to do is deliver my word. He said, I'll take care of the rest of it, but deliver my word unto them people and watch what I will do. Watch the trans, my God, I want to run today. If you don't do so, I'm going to run and shout. He said, I will transform those people into somebody that the people they've been around every day is going to say why I don't understand it you see the Bible said signs and wonders shall follow them that believe so I go wonder why you don't do the things you used to do they're going to wonder how how you changed 
how you come out of that way how do you come out of that oppression how you come out of that depression how do you come out of that thing that, that hell said you're going to be brought down with and you're going to tear your life God said you get a hold of this thing God said get ready get ready get ready a change is coming the atmosphere of change is in the building today God said atmosphere of change now 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 now, now please please don't don't think it, it's, it's nothing about me nothing about me but but even Wednesday night my precious brother Johnny Rains brought a wonderful word about the cross about about about, about the about the work of the, the finished work on the cross of Calvary he, 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 he's been telling me said pastor I, 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 we don't hear preaching likes at this church the lady that came with him that on Wednesday night uh, from another church uh, she said uh, I'm going to tell some more people about this uh, she said we ain't heard this kind of preaching around here in a long time so we ain't heard singing like that she said when I walked in the door I, my she said, I felt the anointing hit me as I walked in. What have we been doing on Tuesday, Brother Norman? Brother Major, we've been anointing this place. We've been saying, oh, my God in heaven. Hi. We've been saying, my God, when they walk into this building, let them feel the anointing of God. And God said, when you do it, you pay the price. My God, they're going to feel it. Hey. Glory. How many of them ladies last night said, we get out of this prison, we come into your church. It ain't because it ain't nothing about us. It ain't nothing about us. But it's all about him. It's about the anointing that God said, when you pay the price, when you understand that it's by prayer and fasting that these things begin to happen, then all of a sudden, my, yeah, 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 yeah. There ain't gonna be a change. There gonna be something take place. God, my Lord, my God. Hey, play it, Brother Clyde. Let the Holy Ghost move. As I was as, as as I was as I was ministering last night to these people in my in this vision that God was giving me in the wee hours of the morning, uh, I was ministering to people, uh, and I was I was asking people that 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 that, that, didn't, that didn't believe uh, in the way we do. They'd been told that this Pentecostal stuff uh, was just crazy. They'd been told all kind of things, uh, and you see, you can't blame them people th- for that because they've been told uh, that we're crazy. They've been told it's a bunch of junk, but they come in uh, and I'd say, "Who who don't believe it? Raise your hands." And they'd raise their hands. I'd walk back and I say that's all right you don't have to believe it and when I, I say all you got to do is just know Jesus is real and, my, uh, and when I would speak that my God they would just fall under the my God the power of God and they got up and said I don't know what it is what happened to me what happened to me I said it's just the glory of God don't worry about it. it's the glory of God glory of God falling upon you God said I'm going to reveal myself even to those that have been told that I ain't real that things of God are not real that the power the anointing it's not real. God said, I'm going to show myself. You don't have to show them. But he said, I want you to deliver the message. Because out of your belly, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living, not dead, not half dried, not warmed over, not just stuff, but living waters out 
out of your belly shall flow a word of change, a word of encouragement, a word that'll put something back into you. You tell the devil to change, it's gonna change in my life. My God, it's gonna change. When I said that to that preacher over the phone, I was on the phone, I said, I said, wow! They said, what? I said, I just, I, God, just God just quickened me. If that same spirit that raised up Christ from the dead lives inside of you, I just read it last week, I believe it was, said, it shall quicken this mortal body. It quickened me. When I said that, when I said that, my whole being jumped. God spoke to my spirit. I said, whoa! He said, what is it? I said, I said, God, God, just, God just told me. I spoke out of my belly. Huh? He started praising God with me. He didn't know what I was talking about. He said, God just told me I spoke out of my belly. Didn't realize what I was saying until it come out of my mouth. God said it's going to come out of your mouth. Just when I needed to come out, he's going to let it flow out of your belly. But it can't flow out unless it's in there. you got to get it inside of your belly. Get that, my God, that expectation. I don't know what you've been facing, but God does. I don't need to know, but all you got to do is make up your mind and tell the devil that it's, it's, it's going to change. It's going to change this year. It's going to change. My Lord, it's going to change. Um, like Brother Major, I ain't coming to, to the house of God just to fill up a pew and leave uh, and just say I've been to church. I'm going to come to the house of God and I'm going to open up my spirit. I'm going to open up my heart uh, and I ain't going to worry about what Sister Doolittle doing or Brother Do Nothing doing. I'm going to receive uh, what God has for me. I'm going to let the river begin to flow out unto you uh, and fall upon you and you're going to see my God. Uh, you're going to see uh, the youth of your, my God the youth of your young days restored unto your spirit and you're going to know no, 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 no that God is in the house how oh! uh, river of life uh, oh oh But God told me this morning to tell you to get it into your belly. Get it into your belly this morning. Because he said, my people don't have it in their belly yet. So this morning, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking it to you. And I, I don't see it now, but God let me see it the other night. It's, fl it's flowing for me, and it's falling down right now upon you. It's covering you this morning, that, that, that anointing. That glory of God is saturating you right now. And it's up to you to allow it to change. Does, it, does anybody, I, 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 know, I, I know, I know we all, all the time, we're asking God. God, God gave me this the other day too. He, 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 he said, my people are asking one of two things. They're asking for help or they're asking for rescue. You see, when you ask somebody for help, you know, that means that you're doing something. You're able to do something. Look the definition of what help means. It means that you're doing something but you need an extra hand. You need a little hand to help you get along. God, I need help. I need your help today, Lord. And God sees that you're in a struggle. You're doing all you can do, but you need God's hand. You need a helping hand, and God will come and help you. But there comes a time, my friend, there comes a day uh, that you're beyond uh, all of your expectation. You're beyond everything uh, that you can do uh, as a man or a woman in yourself, uh, and you ain't got nothing left inside of you. And you say, hey, Lord, I I need to be rescued because there ain't nothing on the inside of me that I can do about it, Lord. I need a rescue today. Yeah. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, that spiritual 911 goes into effect. Boom. Rescue me, Jesus. I'm in the midst of a trouble wind. Mm hmm. Yeah, Lord, rescue me, Jesus. I need your rescuing again. When you say, Lord, rescue me, all of a sudden, it puts God's angels at attention. 
he looks down at you. He says they need rescuing. All of a sudden, here comes a legion of angels, I believe. Here they all come down and dispersed around you. Angels all around you to keep you from harm. And when you when you're there and need that rescue, and they reach down and they pick you up, they surround you, build a hedge around you, and put a flaming sword up at each corner of your life and just double dog dare the devil to try to attack you while they're there. He looks and says, my God, you did it to Job. Now you're doing it to these. God said, yes, I am. Because they're my babies. They're my children. And you ain't going to touch them. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. uh, okay, that's just my, that's just my testimony before I preach. Uh -huh. Yeah, Lord. You, you, are you ready for change in your life? I mean, ready for change? Not, not just, not, not just say it. Not just say it. But for change. You see, when, when you're so determined, you, you, got, you got health issues. Or I don't know what, what, but let me just start with health issues. Been dealing with it for a long time. You, you get up and out, out of your belly. It's going to change. It's going to change. You got financial issues. It's going to change. You see, what I spoke to you, God said, you've got to be an agent of change. You see, because you can't just sit around and say it's going to change and expect it to happen. I'm sorry. You've got to be an agent of change. When you say it's going to change, you say it from your belly. And you mean it. And God will come down. And he'll help you then. When you say it's going to change, God sees you. He says, I, that person needs help. They've, they've determined in their spirit that it's going to change. And God says, I am the one that can help them out of every situation. I'll, I'll go on that storm-tossed raging sea. And I'll speak to the winds and the waves. And the sea must obey. Hey! And calm. He will calm the troubled waters of your soul. Take your broken heart and make him whole. When the storms of your life grow dark and cold, he will calm the troubled waters of your soul. Henson's wrote that song many years ago, sang it. Larry, Larry Williams used to sing that song. Preacher, come over by the boards. He'd sing that song. He will calm the troubled waters of your soul. Take your broken heart, make it whole. When the storms of your life grow dark and cold, He will calm the troubled waters of your soul. Now deep in every heart there is a longing to find happiness and peace of mind. There's a friend, I know he hears me when I call on him. He reached down and picked me up just right on time. And he will come the troubled waters of your soul 